By many accounts, it's currently one of the most dangerous places in the world. But that's not stopping Dr. Haleh Sheikh al-Islami from going to Gaza. When you see people who are um, starving, uh, who are, um, don't have health care, who have, uh, don't have any basic needs, why not help? Dr. Sheikh al-Islami is a family physician at Sutter Health in San Carlos. On Saturday, she heads out on a two-week medical mission to Gaza. She lands in Cairo and then heads to the Rafah border, where a group of medical volunteers will cross into the town of Rafah. You don't have everything at your disposal, but you can do your part. And hopefully it will help, right? It will help sometimes when, um, you know, a kid is sick, giving them the correct antibiotic. Dr. Sheikh al-Islami says she knows she's entering a war zone. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has warned of an imminent ground invasion of Rafah. But she says that's not her focus right now. I have the faith that it will work out, you know, um, you know, and... I guess my life is not any important than anybody else's life. Her niece, Sana, says that's the kind of determination that has always driven her aunt. It really reflects everything that my aunt does um, in this world as a mother, wife, doctor, um, and simply as, you know, a genuinely good-hearted person. Sana adds that the family's not surprised that her aunt is meeting this moment in history. I think we are all really concerned for her safety, but we're also really, really proud of her. Dr. Sheikh al-Islami says she's not trying to save the world, just help the people of Gaza, bear witness to the atrocities of war, and take a stand for something she believes in. Yes, it is. There's a risk involved, but then, um, you know, um, inshallah, it would be... Um, It'll be certainly worth it, and, uh, and then I can come back and talk about all that I have witnessed. In the South Bay, Ansar Hassan, ABC 7 News.